Hey guys, this is Jeff Sheldon. I'm the founder and designer of UggMonk, and I just wanted to do a quick screencast of how I'm using Dropbox Paper. A lot of you guys have been asking on Twitter why I'm using that instead of Google Docs or some other project management tool. So I thought I'd do a quick run through and screencast um, so you can see the structure we built and some of the shortcuts and uh, reasons why I love it. So the first thing is that it's just really simple, it's really minimal, and it feels lightweight. So many project management tools feel cluttered and heavy, and honestly, like nobody wants to spend their time using them except for the project managers, whereas Dropbox Paper is just a clean slate. You can start typing, but it's still powerful enough to make to-do lists and assign things and due dates. Um, but yeah, it just uh, I, I, I really appreciate the design sensibility and the way that they've built it to make it feel really clean and, and not so heavy and cluttered. Um, I also like that they limit the formatting options. So instead of me as a designer going in and playing with fonts and trying to find the right font and the right color, um, what I would do in Google Docs, Dropbox Paper limits all of that. So they already have the, they've already chosen the font and the styles. Um, it's really thoughtfully designed and, and really clean. So I don't spend any, I don't waste any time as a designer uh, messing with that. Um, they also have nice little UI cues throughout um, to help you discover how to use it how to do some of the keyboard shortcuts and use Markdown, which we'll get into here in a little bit. You can link documents together. So instead of going back to a file browser and trying to find things, you can literally just link them together with the plus symbol. Um, and I'll show you the structure and the table of contents that we've built. And the last thing is just that it integrates right with Dropbox uh, file storage. So if you're using Dropbox already, you can paste links uh, from screenshots or files and it's gonna pull them directly in here and it integrates really, really nice. Um, and even in their iOS apps, which are um, getting better and better, they even have offline mode in the iOS apps, so that's handy. Um, but yeah, let's jump in and I'll show you a few examples of uh, the formatting and then we'll jump into the actual documents that I'm using. So to create a heading, you literally just have to type uh, the hashtag uh, pound symbol space and then you've got your heading one. To create a subheading, it would just be two hashtags heading two uh, and so forth. So you can do this really, really quickly. My fingers are never leaving the keyboard um, to create these headings. If I want to do uh, a bulleted list, I'll just hit the hyphen space and you see it automatically turns into bullet. Um, and this makes it just really, really clean and really simple. Uh, maybe I want to make a task list. So let's just make a subheading called task list and my will to create items that I can cross off. Uh, you just do the open back bracket and then the close bracket and space, and you'll see it turned it right into a to-do list item. So let's just say, take out the trash. Um, and then I can go down here and add more, wash the dishes, um, feed my dog. Um, and if I wanna make things under here, so maybe I wanna go back and I wanna add more detailed list under one of these tasks. Um, I can jump over here and hit tab. So let's just say wash spoons, wash forks. Now what this is doing right here is it's making a grouped list. So if I take my mouse and I grab this handle, you'll see that it, all of these are grouped together, which comes in really handy. And you can reorganize them simply by dragging and dropping them anywhere in the document. Um, I can also assign these. So maybe I want to assign this to myself. So I'll just do the at sign and start typing my email. Um, there you go. Um, if I go in here, I can actually check these off once they're complete. Um, and you'll see that it's just, it creates a really, really minimal, um, quick to-do list where you can cross things off and you're not having to um, mess with it. I also like the way that it handles images. Um, so let's just say I went into Dropbox and I copied the link to a photo, uh, which I have here saved on my clipboard. And if I hit, when I paste this link in, it's going to pull, automatically pull this image preview in. Um, so there's not actually, um, if I have this file stored in Dropbox, it's going to pull it directly in, which makes it nice. So I'm not just having a bunch of links and I don't know what the actual image looks like. I can also go over to my desktop. I could come in here and drag a bunch of images in. Um, and the way that it handles this is really nice because I can simply drag these. I can put them next to each other. I can make a little gallery. I can go in here and, and add a caption. Um, so yeah, just the way that it, it does this is all really, really smooth. One last thing before we jump into the actual docs. Um, if you add an emoji to the top here, uh, it's actually gonna pull it and change this favicon. So let's just go in here 
the shortcut on a Mac for emoji is control command space. Um, let's just say I want it to be a donut here. So I'm going to hit that um, and you'll notice right here as soon as I added that it actually changed the icon in my browser. So this is a cool way to like visually differentiate if you have a lot of tabs or a lot of documents. Um, you can add these emojis. Again, just like really, really thoughtful little details. Um, so let's jump over to my example document. Um, so I'm going to open up this document called Action Items. And I created all of these just with fake information in there, so um, you're not getting any trade secrets or anything, but this is kind of how we structure things. Um, at the top, I've created a table of contents uh, simply by linking all of my documents together. And to link a document, you simply hit the plus symbol, and then you start typing it by name. So let's just say I'm linking to the document titled Ugmonk. I'll start typing, and you'll see it populate here. And boom, right there we can link to, I can create a link to any other document. Um, so what I've done here on every document, I have this table of contents at the top. It allows me to jump back and forth really, really quickly. Um, and I, I included little emojis in the title, which is a, a fun little touch. Um, and so far it's been working really well. Um, before we jump over there, this you'll see is all to-do items. So I categorize any action item falls in this one single document. So I don't have action items all over the place. Um, I don't have notes or anything else in here. It's literally just task items. Then I have a document called Ideas and Meetings. So if I jump over there, this is where I would put anything that I need to just dump out of my brain. Maybe I'm on the phone with someone, I have notes, uh, I have things that I want to just get out of my head and record somewhere. I'll put everything on this list. Um, you'll notice I'm dating those, but really just there's not a lot of organization. I'm just dumping it in here, and then I can pull things out. I can copy things to um, that action item list or to other places later. But this allows me to not have to think, like, where am I supposed to go? I'm on the phone. I'm trying to think about where should I write something down. I literally just throw it in here. Um, and then I've also divided up our business. Um, so for me, my two main projects are Ugmonk, which is my main business, and then Gather, which is a minimal modular desk organizer that I launched on Kickstarter um, and went crazy. Um, so if you want to find out more about that, I'll include a link down below. Um, but I created separate buckets for things. Um, these are Think of these as like the main um, buckets where everything goes. Um, if I jump over to the gather document, um, you'll also notice I created a related document section. So these are other documents that I'm linking back to. Uh, and here's just any type of brainstorm or maybe I'm throwing photos in here. You can see the way it handles photos is really cool. So I have a little mood board or a collection of photos here. Um, and I can go in here and I can comment on things. So maybe I want to comment on this picture. Um, I'll just click the little comment icon and I'm going to use click on this plus over here where I can click on a specific area of the pro of the photo. And let's just say, let's change this to darker wood. Um, and I can create comments. I can assign people. I can notify people in these comments. Again, commenting is a whole nother thing that um, we could dive into. But really, really quick, really, really simple. Um, creating these buckets and copying this at the top of every document has been really helpful. Um, and we just started using this structure. So you can quickly jump back. Let's just say I want to jump over to our business ops uh, one. So I'm creating lists here. Again, not a lot of, uh, it doesn't feel like a lot of work because I'm simply just clicking back and forth. I don't have to think about where I'm putting things. Um, and then the last thing is if you're trying to learn these shortcuts, so maybe you're wondering like, okay, what, was, what did Jeff just do to get a heading or to link? Um, you just go to the bottom right over here, click on keyboard shortcuts, and there's the entire list of markdown and keyboard shortcuts that papers included. And I, I feel like they keep adding to and they keep making this better. Um, so I think that's pretty much everything. Um, you see these emoji as a nice little touch. So you'll see that um, differentiating between these two tabs, um, linking to things. Everything is really, really easy and really, really quick. So that's just a quick run through of how I'm using it. Uh, hopefully that was helpful and useful for some of you guys that are checking it out. Uh, I'm not making any money by doing this or I'm not affiliated with Dropbox in any way. I'm just a big fan and I uh, hope this helps you guys. So feel free to hit me up on Twitter. I'll include links below and uh, maybe I'll do another video in the future if you guys want to see more.